Missouri Business Today, this week's development news. Hi, I'm Amy Susan, Communications Director for the Missouri Department of Economic Development. Last week, we released the February 2016 jobs report, which showed that Missouri's unemployment rate was 4.2% for the month, the lowest it's been since October of 2000. The state also gained 9,400 non-farm jobs last month in a number of industries. A low unemployment rate indicates positive conditions for growing businesses and a growing economy. In this week's tech news, global tech company Square last week celebrated the grand opening of its new permanent office in St. Louis's Cortex Innovation District. Square is a St. Louis-born startup founded by city natives Jack Dorsey of Twitter and Jim McKelvey of LaunchCode. The company has already filled 150 positions of its 200 new job creation projection. And in order to supply high-tech companies like Square with qualified workers, Missouri is making huge strides in building up its educated workforce. In fact, Governor Nixon was in Lee's summit earlier this month to break ground on the new Missouri Innovation Campus. Launched in 2012, the initiative is a way for Missouri students to combine dual credit and enrollment to earn affordable, fast-track degrees in high-demand fields. In addition to Lee's summit, Innovation Campus programs are also underway in six other cities across the state. Over the past few weeks, Barry, Sheraton, and Marys County have all earned the designation of Certified Work Ready Communities, a title that means a significant number of the local workforce has obtained credentials that validate their high level of workplace knowledge and skills to help attract and grow local businesses. With these three counties, Missouri now has 25 fully certified counties and more than 69,000 workers statewide have earned National Career Readiness Certificates. Building materials manufacturer Owens Corning was recently named the winner of a 2016 Corporate Investment and Community Impact Award from Trade and Industry Development Magazine. The company is locating a new manufacturing facility in Joplin, a project that was just one of 15 nationwide honored in the competition's Community Impact category for its commitment to invest nearly $90 million and create more than 100 local jobs. The company was also the Governor's Business Project of the Year in 2015. And that is Missouri Business Today. For the full news coverage, be sure to visit MissouriBusinessToday.com.